Okay, so I'm on holiday this week. I'm doing a science competition at the end of the week. It's basically like an X factor for science teachers. I know the backstage area is gonna be mental. So I have to do a three minute talk on anything science related. I've come up with this idea. All you need is two umbrellas, a pair of pliers, and that's enough to teach anyone about a disease of the heart. Luckily, most doctors are not superstitious. You could say that our head rules our heart, but there is a condition of the heart that leads to a five times increased risk of a stroke, a clot in the brain. We call this atrial fibrillation, and it's extremely common. As an emergency doctor, I see it in 5% of patients that come to A&E. So let me tell you about it. Your heart is a beautiful muscular pump with a central muscular wall separating the right side from the left side. Heart is made up of four chambers. Two chambers at the top called the atria, so we have the right atria and the left atria, whose job it is when they contract is to fill the two large chambers at the bottom called the ventricles, the right ventricle and the left ventricle. So when the ventricles contract, the blood from the right ventricle travels round to the lungs for oxygenation. It returns to the left atria. The left atria, when it contracts, fills the left ventricle. So all that oxygenated blood then gets pumped out of the left ventricle around the whole body. Yes, including the brain. And this is called the cardiac cycle. And we've all done this about a hundred times since I've been talking. Like any pump, the heart needs to be well coordinated. Look at how beautifully smoothly this umbrella collapses. So the air getting pushed out would have an equally smooth flow, all because of the coordination between the runner and the stretcher. I had to Google these terms, but in the heart, they're called the sinoatrial node and the electrical conduction system. In atrial fibrillation, things don't run quite as smoothly. These pliers represent long-term damage from high blood pressure and ischemic heart disease, which is a disease of the blood vessels of the heart. So now we have poorly coordinated contractions of the atria. This is atrial fibrillation. The loss of the coordination of the contractions means the heartbeat now becomes irregular. And our previous lovely smooth flow of blood is now disrupted. This causes pockets of blood that are no longer moving. And when blood doesn't move, it clots. So if this clot forms in the left atria, it may become dislodged and go into the left ventricle. It can then be pumped out of the left ventricle and round the body as we talked about and it can end up in the head thus causing an ischemic stroke. So this is how a disease of the heart, atrial fibrillation, can lead to a problem in the brain giving you an increased risk of stroke. Thank you.